Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Esther, I'm a Pilates instructor and today I have a 10 minutes Pilates workout to strengthen your back. So we're going to start in a quadruped position, hands on the shoulders and knees on their hips, okay? Here I want you to think about moving one vertebrae at a time. One vertebrae at a time, arching the spine, eyes forward, tuck the chin, reverse the movement. Rounding, rounding, rounding as much as you can. Then arching, feel your lower back, middle back, upper back, then eyes forward. Maintain the shoulders away from the ears. And then we reverse the movement and round, tucking the tailbone under. This is a good mobility exercise to do as soon as you wake up or after a long day or if your spine or your back is feeling tired. One vertebrae at a time, reversing the movement. Let's go here for one more. Nice forward breathing and out. And squeezing everything in, keep your elbows relaxed. And slowly bring your spine back to the center. We're going to stay here and actually we're going to use a timer um, to help us go with 50 seconds more or less work and then 10 seconds rest, okay? So here we're going to start with a bird dog. So hands on the shoulders, knees on the hips, arm in front, left leg behind and we're going to lift up and down. Keep your core tight here, keep your teeth on tight. Squeezing your glute, imagine that you're pulling string from your belly button with your fingertips and also with the big toe. And let's change side. Eyes are looking down, keep your neck aligned with your spine. This is actually a really good exercise to strengthen, of course, your back, but to give it alignment. We're working both sides evenly. Keep your elbows soft. Again, keep pulling that string from your belly button so you get nice and long here. Last one. Good. And now we go all the way down with your stomach on the mat. Tuck your pubic bone down to the mat. Belly button is in the shoulder. Keep the shoulders away from the ears, squeeze between the shoulder blades and your glutes, and we go here with that baby. Notice how the neck goes aligned with the spine, so keep your chin tucked in. Squeezing your glutes and between the shoulder blades. This is to start to warm up the back. If you feel comfortable, try to go a bit higher each time but keep your glutes squeeze and keep that shoulders away from the ears we're working evenly on our back so press the mat with hands at the same time with the same strength last one and relaxing now place the arms here by the side keep tucking your pubic bone under belly button towards the spine palms are facing in first and lift the chest again, away from the back, from the mat. Keep your chin tucked in, squeeze your glutes to protect your lower back. It's very important here that we maintain that tuck on our pubic bone because otherwise it's gonna be too relaxed and then we're gonna hurt our lower back more than actual strength. And so keep squeezing, keep tucking and keep looking down. Breathe in and out Good. you can also do this one with the palms facing out you wanna or in your back muscles your upper back and your triceps keep squeezing last one and relax now we're going to extend here both arms overhead with the thumb pointing up towards the ceiling this is our superman again tucking the pubic bone belly button towards the spine right arm left leg left arm right leg eyes are looking down 
Keep breathing in, out. Tuck in the pubic bone, squeezing your glute. I'm starting to feel my back muscles working. Keep your neck aligned with your spine. Try to lift the arm to ear level. Let's go for three, two, and one. All right, have a little rest. Come into child's pose. Relax your lower back, forehead on the mat. Take a moment here to breathe. And come back into our stomach, not the stomach on the mat, okay? So here we go into a V extension. So separate your arms in a V shape with the thumb pointing up towards the ceiling. Same thing that we did before, just the back working. Eyes are looking down. Breathe. Squeezing your glute. It's very important that we give some love to our back because they're responsible to hold all everything in our, in our body. Very important for the alignment of our hips, our legs, have a little rest. Come into child's pose. Breathe again. And it's very common this day that we have back issues because we don't strain our back properly. We also have the connection between our back and our glutes. So if you want to also add a glute workout, check out the next video after this, okay? Come into quadruped position again. We're going to hold 15 seconds. Right arm, left leg. Let's go up. Hold here. Core tight. Keep both hip bones facing the mat. Here is not so important that you lift the leg too high because we don't want to use the flexibility here of the hip flexors or the lower back. We actually want to use the glutes and the back. Let's go with the other side. Bring it up. Hold. Eyes are looking down. Breathe. Maintain your tissue tight. Keep squeezing your glute. Softening the elbow. I know there's so many details in here. But the most important part is that you keep your core engaged and that you are not opening here the hip to the side. Bring that hip bone down. Good. And we rest. Okay. We go again with the stomach on the mat. Separate your legs in a V shape and your arms. Thumb is pointing up. And here we're going to lift everything at the same time legs and arms, squeezing your glutes, breathing, your back muscles are also part of your core muscles, so it's very important that we strengthen everything evenly, so it's just not the abdominal work, we are also doing our back work here, let's go for three more, eyes are looking down, Last one, have a little rest. Shift the hips from one side to the other. We have one more exercise here. Putting the arms here by the side, with the palms facing up. Squeeze your glutes, squeeze the arms in, and we're taking the palms up, down, up, down. Try to keep your arms higher than your spine and not here. We're strengthening here the back muscles, the upper back muscles and your triceps muscles in the back of your arms everything is connected keep looking down up down tucking the pubic bone on the mat lift the belly button Whew. breathe almost there up down up down keep your fingers together too I forgot to say that at the beginning five four three two and we rest good shifting the hips from one side to the other. Now we're gonna do a few stretches here very fast. Hands on the shoulders. Relax your leg, we go again with a cobra lift, but this time full cobra. Chest up. Your spine is already warm enough to do this. Breathe. Relax your shoulders. We can go all the way down. 
and looking down up again breathe relax your shoulder open your chest Slowly lower. If you want to take a moment again in child's pose to relax the lower back, you can reach here with your fingertips. Try to touch the top edge of your mat. Keep your forehead on the mat. Relax completely. When we're stretching, we breathe in through the nose and out through the nose. Good. We have one more stretch here coming into seated position. If you have more time, stay for longer, okay? Extending the legs here, we open the arms or extend the arms in front and open here to one side. Good, back to center. And again, eyes follow the hand, lengthen your spine. Breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth, or out through the nose, actually. Good. Now let's go to the other side. I have to turn this way, extending the arms. Go here to the side, come back to center. Good. Let the twist come from your midsection. Breathe. If you wanna do more after this workout, check what I have here, abs, glutes, and that's it. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you like to see next. Thumbs up, subscribe. See you on the next time.